morning everyone today is the day we are flying home to massachusetts i'm so excited i'm just drinking a little green juice i had to wake up and like get ready a little bit because i had to film a few sponsored tiktoks um but i'm drinking this green juice from bluestone lane it has cucumber apples lemon spinach kale and ginger it actually tastes really good um and it's called their port sea juice if you ever go to bluestone um i know it's not like the best because it's not freshly squeezed or whatever but um it's cold pressed it could be worse i guess i don't know i still feel like healthy when i drink this um so yeah i really am enjoying this right now it's like nice and refreshing first thing in the morning um today on the agenda we have pilates at 12 which means i have to leave here at 11 20 because it takes me a hot minute to get there then i need to go to the consignment store i need to drop off clothes that i'm selling um and then i'm going to pick up lunch from bluestone and um then come home and finish up packing, get some work done, and wash the dog. <laughs> Take him for a walk, a really good walk to tire him out. We're worried about him on the plane a little bit because he can be kind of a stinker. Um, so we're gonna give him a really, really good walk and then give him a really nice bath so he's all like fresh and clean. Um, which kind of doesn't make sense considering we're going airplane, but I just feel like he'll feel better if he's like clean. Um, but anyways, I think I'm going to finish my green juice, do some emails, and then take him on a walk as well. I'm packing my toiletries right now. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with these cute-ass makeup bags. Like, oh, this is so freaking adorable. I got this big one too. I'm actually not sure what I'm going to put in this yet, but I got this one. I could put makeup in here, but I just don't want to ruin it. It's so cute, like the gingham on the inside, and it's just adorable, so I don't want to ruin it. But skincare is, like, clean. Like, it's not going to, except when you don't put the cap on love that for me um watch like something explode let me make sure frank always yells at me because i'm notorious for not screwing on caps like i never screw anything on um but i'm being quite minimal with my skincare that i'm bringing home i was gonna bring hair products too i really only need like a few hair brushes because technically my mom has so much stuff like she has all hair products a bunch of oils like i wouldn't even need skincare honestly but she just has so much good stuff so i don't know i'm gonna bring this just got home. We're having a little family lunch break. I'm having the green goddess salad and I added chicken to it. And Frankie's having a chicken sandwich. And Rainy is just having some air. He already ate. Right, boy? He's so cute. I ended up making like 200 bucks at the consignment store, which is pretty good. Um, I did sell some good stuff though. My camera was crooked, but what I'll say about the consignment store is this. It's good because I don't have to list stuff on Poshmark, which honestly for me is a big hassle. And I know that sounds dramatic. It's not that big of a deal. Um, it's easier like when I'm with my mom and she can help me and she can help me take photos of things. Um, so it's easier for me to drop things off at the consignment store here. It is still kind of time consuming. Like it did still take me like close to an hour and a half between like getting there signing in, waiting for your turn, waiting for them to go through everything. But I mean, to make 200 bucks in an hour and a half, I'm not complaining. I have made way more back home in Massachusetts at consignment stores because they take a lot more stuff. They're a lot more picky here about what they take. So like I usually only bring new at tags, certain brands, um, they don't just take everything. Like, at Plato's Closet back home in Massachusetts, I need a knife. It was way different. I would bring in, like, not even that much stuff and make, like, 300 bucks. We just gave this boy a bath. I took him for a nice long walk. I'm sorry you can barely hear me because my boyfriend is li listening to the Yankees-Red Sox game so loud. But I took a shower. My hair is so poofy. It literally, like, looks like I have a mop on my head, so I have to do something with it. I might, like, just curl it with a straightener or something. I don't know. Um, but we took him for, or I took him for a nice long walk and we gave him a nice bath. Now he's gonna get a treat. You hear that? Dad's opening the bath. Treat, you get a bone. Rainy, you got a bone. A bone. All right, come on. I'll let him run free. Um, so we're about to be Heading out like soonish. I'm gonna make Frank a smoothie and um, Frank, the volume is so loud, baby. Bear, can you turn it down a little bit while it's commercials? Oh my god. When? 
yourself love, little T. I don't want to get to her after waiting any longer. Her little time. When's the new departure time? You guys, we're in the airplane. Oh, we are not in the airplane. We're in the airport. I got an iced chai with coconut milk. And I got my boys here. Fair, fair. Rainy. Rainy. You are very cute. You are very cute. Little boy. Little boy. He's good. He's being a good boy so far. I mean, he's barked at a few dogs. We're gonna give him a CBD treat in a few minutes. We're boarding in like, I mean, our plane is like scheduled to take off in like 40 minutes. So we're gonna give him his treat soon, so hopefully it kicks in. Hopefully I was smooth and light. Um, Frankie and I do not have seats together, which honestly stinks, but it's okay. Um, I think he's gonna take rain and they're really good together and I think it might calm both of them down. Um, and yeah, hopefully, hoping for a smooth flight. We're supposed to be a little bit delayed, but I think it's only by like a couple minutes now, so fingers crossed everything goes smooth and we get into Massachusetts, or I guess Connecticut, or technically flying into Connecticut, and hopefully we get in there safe and sound. First stop. Back home. Hey you guys, uh, we are officially in Massachusetts. Um, Frankie and I have spent the day kind of apart. Um, we all went to breakfast, oh my god this freaking air freshener thing in my mom's car. We all went to breakfast together at like literally 6.30 in the morning. And then I came home and I took a nap at my mom's. Right now I'm about to head to Duncan. Um, it's 2 p.m. I took a nap at my mom's and I like laid out tanned a little bit. I don't even know if you can tell. Um, it's kind of like partly cloudy, but it was pretty, pretty warm and sunny for a bit. And now I'm driving to Duncan. Um, I have no car mount in this car, so we'll see how long this lasts without flying off. Um, not like I have a car mount in my car in LA because I literally don't. Um, but I was craving a cold brew from Duncan. So I'm going to get that. And my mom said she was craving a bagel with cream cheese. Um, so yeah, I ate breakfast and I just like had some fruits by the, um, on the deck when I was tanning. Um, now I'm craving a cold brew and then my mom and I are going to make like chips and dip and like veggies and stuff, um, as like a little like snacky lunch. Then Monica and I are doing the gym at four o'clock. Um, and then we're going to come home. My mom's making homemade burgers, which I'm so excited for and homemade um like home fries or like whatever uh potatoes and yeah it's gonna be a great night i'm gonna probably fall asleep by 8 p.m the flight could have gone better to be honest with you um I'm gonna close these windows so you could like hear me um the dog did not sleep well like he did for the first two hours we gave him a cbd treat he slept I had to put him in my lap, I like covered him with a blanket and you couldn't see him or anything so I was scared like the flight attendants were gonna get pissed at me. Um, but they didn't see him, they, nobody said anything, they were actually really sweet. Um, and then I had to pee. It was like two and a half hours into the flight and it's like a five hour and something flight. So I was like, look, I can't do this for another almost three hours, I gotta pee. So I went pee, I gave the dog to Frank. And during that time I come back and he's like, he's crying. He was crying, he was like kind of hyperventilating, and I think he was just having anxiety, maybe his ears were popping, maybe he just got all like rattled up, and like especially because we gave him that like soothing treat. You know when you take melatonin and you wake up groggy, like I almost feel like that might be something to do with it. Maybe it's a combination of all of those things. Also, I'm so sorry if my camera's shaking. Um, this road is bumpy as hell. Yeah, then it took me like another hour to get him to fall back asleep, and then we had like another hour and a half left on the plane. Um, so, not terrible, but also not the best. I felt so bad for him, my poor little babe. I do miss it here. It's so, like, just calm. Like, I'm literally, I'll show you guys where I'm driving. It's literally, this is the road to get to Duncan. It's literally the middle of nowhere. It's Friday today. We have Saturday and Sunday here in Massachusetts, and then we go to Newport, Rhode Island, and I'm gonna start a new vlog in Newport. So I'll try to get little clips. Am I gonna focus? I don't know. I'll try to get little clips here and there of us here in Massachusetts these next couple days. 
um, whenever I can. I don't promise to be the most attentive vlogger, which you will see if I have been or if I haven't been. I'd like to just for the memories, um, but if I'm not, you know, it's really important that we spend these next couple days with family and really try to like whatever. So I don't know if I'll be doing a lot of talking to the camera, but I will show like montage clips and stuff of what we've been doing. Um, I have so much editing to do and Frank has my laptop because he put it in his his bag um, when we flew home. But whatever, it's fine. Um, I will get it tomorrow or get it at the gym. But yeah, um, that's basically that. We Yeah, we're here for like two more full days. Um, Saturday and Sunday and then we go to Newport so yeah Newport will be its own separate vlog because I think that'll be really fun and like entertaining to watch and it'll be like a travel day vlog versus like you're like I've essentially done nothing like I slept for three hours we went to breakfast at like a local spot that we always like tradition we leave the airport and we get to breakfast at like the crack of dawn and just us and like three old people um it was really sweet though and then we are going to um yeah, just go to the gym and then eat burgers and that's literally gonna be my whole day. I honestly, like I said, I didn't sleep. Besides the three hours that I napped at my mom's, I didn't sleep a wink at freaking on the plane. So, it is what it is. Let's get some effin' Duncan and eat some chips and dip and just chill. Yeah, I'm getting kind of hungry now. Um, so I ate that breakfast at like 6 a.m. I did have like watermelon and grapes by, I keep wanting to say by the pool. There's no pool on the deck. Um, but Frank's parents have a pool, so we're gonna be going in their pool tomorrow. So that's very exciting. Oh my god, I guess we're going to Dunkin'. Can I please do, um, a medium cold brew with blueberry and one pump of French vanilla swirl and oat milk? And then can I also do, um, just a plain toasted bagel, or sorry, a whole wheat toasted bagel with plain cream cheese? Fresh cucumber. From my mom's garden. It's really good. It's the best moisture medicine. Feels nice. Feels so good. She just gave me a fresh piece. Guys, look at how cute this little nightgown is. I feel like I go for like country New England girl summer chic whenever I come home. My whole bedroom here literally matches my two new little, I don't know why I'm so obsessed with these things. They're just so cute to me, these little makeup bags. And then my mom and I have been going through my clothing rack or going through my suitcase and putting everything on this clothing rack. I still have, this is all Miami stuff. Okay, so I've laid out some outfit choices for the week. Um, this is what I'm gonna wear to ice cream tomorrow. It's just like a white Aritzia tank with this like chaps oversized button down. I'm gonna wear this with um, these linen shorts that are right here that I'm also gonna be wearing in Newport. Then we're doing an Italian dinner night and I'm gonna wear this little like white eyelet dress. This is my daytime like sightseeing um, cute Newport outfit. I have two top options and then these pair of white linen Aritzia shorts. This um, throw over Ralph Lauren thing will be if I wear this, what's it called, eyelet thing. If I wear this top, probably gonna have to go with this throw over just because I feel like that's a lot of stripes. So that's that. This is a cute outfit change in case we want to grab drinks or something. It's a really cool skirt that my friend made. It has this really sick tassel on it and it has a lobster on it. It just gives very like coastal vibes, super cute. And then I have this crochet like halter top from Revolve that I'm gonna wear with it, which is like a pair of sandals I think would be really pretty. This is a really pretty Aritzia like slip dress. It's just a simple silk slip dress. Um, and I have two dinner options for Newport. This silk slip dress or this super long like beachy white dress. I don't know which one yet. This is a sweater um, from Brandy Melville. You guys know my favorite sweater. It's like a good throw over for um, dinner at Newport or like if we want to go for a walk on the beach or like whatever. Just a good cute like preppy sweater. Then I have this outfit because we're doing a seafood brunch the next day. So I have like this little um, top and short set from Cider. It's really cute. It's just like a simple oversized like white button down situation. And then I have this little like 
cute top from H&M, which I thought would be really adorable with this. You guys, this is why all of the like outfit photos and stuff comes in handy because you pull everything out, you already know what outfits you're gonna put together. Then this is after the seafood brunch, we're gonna change. I know this is so extra, you guys. You obviously don't need a million outfits like this just to go out to freaking a one night trip to Newport, but I'm just extra. I want to like just feel cute and I love Newport, so I love the style there. Um, these cute like simple brandy, little like cotton shorts and then this is just like a tank from Maritzia that I'm gonna wear. We're gonna grab coffee after the brunch and then head on the road back. That was a horrible noise. Um, then that night we're doing dinner with our friends. Um, so I'm gonna be wearing this little white dress from Maritzia and again this little like throw over oversized like pink situation. Um, which is just super cute. This is just a cute um, Tommy Hilfiger, like really oversized. Frankie and I actually share it. I'm pretty sure it's his. Um, just like a big preppy kind of sweater. Um, you guys can see, it's not a sweater, it's like a crew neck. Um, you guys can see my style is definitely, it's definitely this, like you can just see what it is. It's eyelet, it's lace, it's kind of simple New England preppy vibe, um, but still like a little bit sexy, a little bit fun. This is just a cute option. I don't know if we're gonna end up going out or doing anything. Um, within the next couple days with friends, but I just have this like little throw over nasty gal thing and then this um, Lace like top that I would wear with my plain Levi jean shorts And then these are just a couple of cardigan options for shoe options. I really only brought my dunks These really cute heels from Ray. They're from um, what's it called? Revolve. I brought my cloud novas because they're just a great running shoe and then for sandals, I brought these really cute um, Jeffrey Campbell like lace up. I brought these guys from J. Crew. These are just like literally my shit kicking shoes. I love these. They're just easy to throw on. And then I also brought my Yeezy slides. And this is the purse I brought. It's just my simple, cute little Stodd purse. And then I brought this, which is gonna double as a beach bag for Newport, but it also carries like all of my underwear and my bathing suits in it as well. So that's like a great kind of two for one situation. <laughs> Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving Good morning you guys. I'm sitting here drinking my coffee with my mom on the balcony. It's like one of our favorite traditions is to come out here in the morning and drink coffee on the balcony. We've been doing it for years. Um, it's like the best summer tradition. It's already so warm. You guys, last night I slept for 12 hours. 12 hours. It was 7.59 when I got off FaceTime with Frankie and I was gonna watch a YouTube video and I literally watched two seconds of it. My eyes were closing. I shut it off and I fell asleep instantly. And the only reason I woke up this morning at 8 a.m. was because I could hear the cats. They have like little jingle bells on their collars and I could hear the cats playing in the room and I woke up and I was like, holy crap. I slept for literally my Fitbit or my aura ring says that I slept for 12 hours. So honestly, after two hours of sleep though, the night before, in total 14, split in half is seven. I would say that that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Actually, I think I slept almost three. So I basically got seven and a half, eight-ish hours of sleep between the two nights. So that makes sense. Um, but I'm feeling great. I'm like, my mom keeps trying to tell me that I'm still on California time, but like the way that I never get jet lagged when I come places is because I instantly tell myself, this is the time I need to stay awake until like 8 p.m. or like a normal night time and then go to sleep, force yourself to fall asleep and like I didn't have to force myself because I was so tired. And then you just wake up the next day and you're already on the next time. So I've pretty much adjusted pretty well so far. Um, today on the agenda is it's 9.30. I'm about to go to the gym with my friend Monica again. And then Frank and I are gonna have a pool day at his parents' house. We're gonna grab smoothies. There's like a cute smoothie shop right next to his house. So we're gonna grab smoothies. We're gonna hang out by the pool. Um, then at night we're gonna make dinner and go grab ice cream and then watch the Yankees game because they're big Yankees fans and they're playing the Red Sox all weekend, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's gonna be really fun. So I'll bring you guys along. Um, so far it's been really nice. I'm all dressed for the gym. Mom's just making me some cottage cheese with homemade raspberry um, like jam puree type of stuff. Um, and then I'm going to 
head out and meet Monica. I think I might stop and grab a Celsius on the way just because I feel like we wanted to do like a nice cardio kind of workout and it'll be nice to like sip it. I never end up finishing those. I always have like a few sips and then I save it for the next day, but it'll be good to have tomorrow too. Oh my God, you guys, me and Monica just accidentally worked out for two hours. We got there at 10.30, it is 12.30, and I just left. I'm getting Starbucks right now. Thank God I had that cottage cheese. I was gonna go and just go work out, cause like when I woke up I wasn't hungry cause I'm still in California time. And like, I don't even usually eat till like later on in the day back home versus here where like even whatever, you guys get it. Where I'm, I'm on the East Coast, so my stomach is all whack, out of whack. But I was like, you know what? Let me have a snack before the gym just to make sure I have some fuel. So I had some cottage cheese with that raspberry puree and oh my God, it was, I keep saying puree, but it's preserves. It was so good. And then I had like a few sips of this uh, raspberry acai green tea Celsius, which was really good. Um, and like a whole jug of my water and uh, water with lemon, so good. Um, but you guys, we literally did, I mean, we just were chatting for like an hour and 15 on the treadmill. And then we did like a full body, arms, abs, legs, body weight circuit, which was really good. Um, it's very low impact, but you definitely feel it. It's slow movements. You're not like really sweating. There's no jumping. It's not like a hit workout. It's literally just like a mat Pilates style workout, but it was really good. So that's that. Um, that's been really good. Um, I'm super excited now to grab Starbucks and then I'm heading to Frankie's parents' house to lay by the pool. It's amazing tanning weather. There is not, let me show you guys, there's not a cloud in the sky. Guys, look at the freaking sky. I am gonna get a dark tan today. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna show you guys my Starbucks. I actually don't know what I'm gonna get. I might try the chocolate cream cold brew. Cause that sounds bomb. But yeah, I'm gonna head over there right now. There's always a freaking line at that Starbucks. So let's go. <laughs> Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights I just showered after being in the sun all day. We're just in the pool. We even put Rainy Baby in the pool. He was like sitting on the floats with us even though he hates the water. Um, he still like was in the pool which was really cute. Um, but we got some really good color, which was nice. Uh, I just took a nice body shower and did all my skincare and put lotion on my body. And now I'm just like relaxing, waiting to have dinner. Um, Frankie's mom and I are going to make a big salad. And his dad made stuffed chicken last night and they saved me one. So I'm so excited to eat that. Um, it has like prosciutto and spinach and something else. I think mozzarella and sun-dried tomatoes. Something like really good. I'm so excited. I'm just jade rolling. Um, so nice. We just like, his mom and I had a couple of Trulies by the pool. Well, I only had one. Um, and the boys made burgers and it was just such a good day. Now we're just chilling. Then we're gonna have dinner and go get ice cream. It's like down the street. So we're all gonna do a family walk. Um, and we're gonna take the little boy so he'll get even more tired and get him a pop cup. And then we're gonna watch the Yankees game because they're playing the Red Sox, like I said. So. That will be a fun, cute night. It's already five o'clock. I'm starving though. I haven't, I've like had little nibbles all day, but um, I'm excited to eat. I really wanna know, really wanna know. I know, at least, yeah, you should be good. You usually don't If I will never figure out where the road goes, even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head. I want to carry it. Guys, I've been vlogging. It's 7 in the morning. Frank's mom wants to go to church, so we had to go for a walk early. But we have kind of matching outfits on. And we're going on a walk to Dunkin' Donuts because that is what we do in the mornings here. It's really cute. It's like a 30 minute walk. The whole family's here. Terry, Frank's mom, and Frank's dad. And our boy is here too. I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high 
Hey guys, I'm iPhone vlogging really quick because I left my camera at Frankie's house. Um, I just got ready like really quick, just showered. I haven't washed my hair since I've been here, honestly, because we just keep going outside sweating. Um, I haven't like wet it in the pool or anything, so it's been fine. Um, or like going to the gym or tanning or whatever. So it's just like, it is what it is, but I'm gonna wash it tomorrow before Newport. Um, but anyways, who cares? Uh, we're about to go to Red Rose, which is our like family favorite. Um, place to eat it's like a little italian spot so i'm so excited i'm gonna wear a cute little white eyelet dress my mom and i are just getting ready um i'm gonna do her makeup she's about to do her hair with like the round brush and stuff and then i'm gonna do her makeup and then we're gonna head out and i'm so excited i can't wait um trust in our wings to fly sometimes we're crashing down but we get up and start from the ground 